Rich, we don't make too much of pre-season results when they don't necessarily go your way. So obviously we shouldn't really do the same when they do go our way. But, you know, that's a very, very good win, isn't it? Well, it's a good performance. Really, really good performance. So I think the Bristol City game was a good performance. Yep. Um, and like, like you say, we don't make too much of pre-season, but, but we did. You know, we, yep. we didn't want to lose a game Tuesday night and yep. we wanted to win today. But I think if you take both games, the performances have been pretty good. Um, especially defensively, but I think today we, we defended well and we attacked, attacked really well as a group as well in the second half especially. Today, like Tuesday night, obviously both teams played games that day as well, so the teams were split in half, but that was still a very, very strong Birmingham side, wasn't it? So it must be very promising to see our players go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh, definitely. Birmingham's a massive club and you know, they're going to have 22 players who can easily fit into the first team. and So they, they do it right. They go to Warsaw for, for a game and, and down to us for a game. So. It's a fantastic workout for us. You know, there's, there's some top quality players in the Birmingham City side, so it's always nice to step up and play against top players. You've already touched on it, really, but how much do you actually look at the results of these games, especially one like this, or, or is it more just about the minutes for the players? And it's a like lot that? about the minutes, but it's a lot about how we defend and how we attack. You know, obviously, it's no secret we conceded a hell of a lot of goals last season. So, you know, we're working not just as a back three or a back five or as a whole 11 working as a group to, to keep the ball out of the back of the net. And um, at the moment, we've got still a lot to work on, but it's, it's steadily getting there. We're seeing Lockie, Mags and Ollie Harfield playing as that back three at the moment because obviously Luke's not um, play it ready for game at the moment, is yeah. he? So how, how promising has, have those three been in their partnership? Well, they've been good. You know, you've got Maxi coming in as well. You yeah. know, so, you know, we've got a lot of people who can play at the back. Theo can play at the back and dictate yeah. the, the pace of the game as well. So we've got we've got a lot of options. Um, but when we get a full squad, it'll be, be, I'll be a lot happier with that. We're nearer the end of pre-season now. How far away are we from that first game in terms of the players being ready for it? Well, it's a week. It's a week, isn't it? So... Yeah. No, two weeks. So we've, yeah. got, you know, we've got Crawley and Bromley. Yeah. So, and they're going to be really good games as well. I think we've been lucky. We've sort of eased our way in into pre-season. We've had four, four top, top games, come, including uh, Crawley and Bromley. So we'll know where we are roughly, um, basically after the Forest Green game, because that's when, yeah, that's when it yeah. starts. You've spoken about the stability at the back, but the attacking play has been very promising as well. Goals scored today, it's, it's, it's working well, isn't well, it? Well, all over, you know, it's, um, like I say, it's not the season hasn't started yet. Things can change massively for good or, or for bad, but, you know, we're quietly happy how things are ticking along, midfield, wing-backs, up front, it's, um, we're getting there.